Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a hemostat mandala. I'm using a 28 by 28 100% cotton flour sack kitchen towel. I've soaked it in soda ash. I'm going to begin by folding the towel in half. Now I'm going to fold the towel in half again. Grab one corner of the towel and fold it back down. Fold it down a second time, then flip the towel over and basically do the same thing on the other side. So right now I have the towel folded for an eight point mandala. I'm going to make one more fold on each side folding the towel into a 16 point mandala. It's usually a little bit difficult to do a 16 point mandala on a t-shirt just simply because the fabric is pretty thick, especially using hemostats. Now you can do a 16 point mandala on a t-shirt, but it'll be easier to tie it with sinew than it will be to use hemostats. For this towel, I'm going to use hemostats and I'm going to use straight hemostats. I'm placing one pair of hemostats down at the end of the towel at an angle. By the way, I'm just making this up as I go. If you're wondering what the black is on my hemostats, I've coated them with heat shrink tubing. Heat shrink tubing will help keep the teeth of the hemostats from damaging the fabric. I purchased the heat shrink tubing in the electrical department at either Lowe's or Home Depot cover the teeth with it, and then use a heat gun to shrink it down to fit. I have several different sizes of hemostats, but the ones that I use the most are 10 inch and 12 inch hemostats. I have a few that are smaller and I'll use them down at the end of shirts and towels sometimes, but I like the ones that have longer sections of teeth and I like the ones too that are a little bit sturdier. If they're too flimsy, they won't grip very well on the shirt or whatever you're using them on. I've also had hemostats break before if they weren't sturdy enough, and I've definitely had lots of hemostats pop off because they just come undone. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging the placement of these hemostats as I go. I'm going to continue applying hemostats all the way out to the very edge of the towel. Once I have all the hemostats on, I'm going to place the towel on a metal rack and set it aside. I'm in the middle of tying a couple other things. By the time I got back to this towel, because it was a little thinner, it had already dried out. Which is good because I like to apply the dye to mandalas and geodes when they're totally dry. If you want some more information about that topic, I have a blog out on my website and there's a link to that down below in the description for this video. I discuss several different tie-dye topics, and one of them is why I prefer to dye thicker folds like geodes and mandalas when they're dry. I'm going to ice dye this mandala, so I'm going to make myself an ice barrier using some silicone cake molds. There's a link for those down below too. Since this is such an unusual shape, I'm just kind of placing the cake molds up close to the piece of fabric and then using some wooden clothespins to hold them up close to the towel. 
The very end portion was kind of small, so I just left that without any cake molds or any kind of an ice barrier. Okay, so basically I'm gonna use some blues and greens with the exception of using a little bit of watermelon right at the very end or the center of the mandala. I've listed the colors below in case you happen to lose track of what colors I'm using on this towel. I'm starting with watermelon right at the very end and watermelon is a Dharma Trading Company color. I decided to go ahead and spray the towel with a little bit of soda ash solution. That'll help the dye stick to the towel instead of falling off down below. Because I'd already applied the watermelon, it kind of made that spread just a little bit. The next color that I'm gonna use is washed denim from Dye Spin. Now I'm gonna use Royal Blue from Dharma. Then in between the hemostat pairs, I'm using Lime Pop from Dharma. I'm adding another section of washed denim. And another section of royal blue. On the remaining sections, on the top side, I'm gonna use Irish Green from Dye Spin. Then I'm skipping a space and adding another section of Irish Green. In the two remaining top sections, I'm gonna use washed denim from Dye Spin. I'm taking the back of my stainless steel spoon and kind of spreading the dye down into the fabric. That's gonna help it adhere and not fall off into the container. Then in the bottom sections, I'm going to use Island Breeze from Pro Chemical. I'm going to skip a section and do another section of Island Breeze. Then in the middle of those two sections, I'm using Royal Blue from Dharma. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye. And I'm going to add on a layer of ice. I bought a silicone mold to make some 2 inch square ice cubes. I wanted something a little bit bigger that would have a slower melt for whenever I do ice dyeing outside. So I think these are intended to be used for whiskey. I'll leave a link down below for where I purchased them. Because the ice cubes were so thick, after the first layer of ice melted, I came back and checked it and the dye had gone through really well to the backside. 
So even though there was some undissolved dye left sitting on top, I just left it alone and allowed it to process for about 24 hours. Then I took the towel to my utility sink and I started rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I removed the hemostats and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. When the water was running almost clear, I put the towel along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Then after I washed and dried the towel, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you think? I really like this one. I think it looks really pretty. I wanted to see what it was like to do a 16 point mandala using hemostats. And like I said, it's really tough to do that on a shirt. So I wanted to try one of these 28 by 28 towels and see what it looks like. I really like it. One side is a lot more defined than the other. When you're looking at the towel, the right hand side of the towel, the sections are a lot more defined. Over on the left hand side of the towel, they just kind of muddle together a little bit more. They're a little bit more watercolorish. That is probably the side of the towel that was on the inside. It's not a huge difference, but when you're scrutinizing it like I am, you can definitely see the difference. I like the colors though. I think they look really good together and I like the design. It's always fun to just mess around with different like towels and shirts and things and see what you come up with. But what do you guys think? Do you like it? I think I'm going to try this design, but do it on an actual shirt, not 16 points, but maybe back it up and do an eight point mandala. Drop me some comments down below and let me know what you think about it. And if you've enjoyed watching me make this towel, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.